Hello and welcome to ATZ Reviews, where we review uh, comic books, movies, and everything in between. Today, we're going to be reviewing The Office. I'm Marcus, I'm here with my buddy Matthew. We're both big Office fans, as you can see. The Office is by far my favorite TV show. Um, I know at, uh, Matthew's a big fan of it too. And so, uh, basically, we're just gonna talk about the entirety of the show, and then we're going to also talk, obviously, about season nine and the finale. So um, we have we have season one playing in the background right now, and in my opinion, uh, season one is is very different than the rest of the seasons. If you see the the special, the Office special too, um, they they do kind of say that it was like a new TV show that they brought up, and that um, they weren't really sure if they were gonna make it. And so even as big as um, as big as as a fan as I am with the show. Season one still has that kind of like, like I don't know that edge. Like, am I gonna like the show? Am I not gonna like the show? Uh, for me personally, um, but I mean, if you if you keep with it and you and you stick into like, I would say uh, the the season two like the Christmas episode, um, then it, it just starts to get amazing. I mean, I I've loved the show pretty much since the first time I saw it, and I I'm sure Matthew has too since we're both big fans, but. Uh, yeah, so one of the biggest things that I personally liked about it, and I think The Office really kind of capstone this for the rest of the TV shows that use this, and even movies that some movies that use this, is their subtle like jokes, yeah. and they're just they're, <laughs> they're like they're they're kind of low key, kind of hidden, but mm -hmm. super. If you catch them, they're super hilarious jokes. Like there's one episode in The Office. I don't remember what season it is, but Michael says something that could be taken dirty, and Jim looks at the camera and says, did she not say that? So, just little things yeah. like that, and the, you know, Michael's, you know, that's what she says, and everything, everything they throw in there. And a lot of, a lot of people don't actually know, I've, I've come across a lot of people who, they didn't know that that's what she said, the joke came from the office, mm -hmm. and they've been saying it for however long, and so I've been telling them, you know that, that's from the office, right? And they're like, no, I didn't even know that, and they don't even watch the office, so. Yeah, I mean, you see that, in so many TV shows now nowadays, but I believe that The Office was really the show that really opened the door for all of those subtle cues and jokes, yeah. and that's what makes today's shows like Modern yeah. Family and others, you know, able to do that because they were the ones that kind of kicked off with that idea. And it's really it's it's dry humor, mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. you really have to get used to it at first, like how dry it is. And some people they're kind of like. Like, I'll, I'll introduce the show to some of my friends, and they're like, oh, I don't really like it. But then you really start to get to watch it, and you understand what's, like, how it really is, and it's just brilliant, some of the stuff that they do. And um, uh, not only is it a comedy, but also you have the, the love relationships, and then there's drama, um, and there's so many more elements to a comedy show that makes it so much more than what people might think that it is. Mm -hmm. um, go ahead. Yeah, like, like Marcus was saying, the relationship aspect, every, sh every good show and every good movie has to have a couple relationship. And in this yeah. case, there's more than just the Jim and Pam, there's the Dwight and Angela <laughs> down in the cellar and you know, that sort of stuff. There, later on, it's you know, Andy and Dwight fighting for Angela and just so many others, Gabe and Aaron, Andy and Aaron, it just goes on and on. And so that's why when you get hooked into it, you really have to keep up and keep track of, you know, all the different relationship dynamics, but it's just, it's downright hilarious. Uh, you may think that if you, if you miss like an episode of the show, you may think that, you know, it's no big deal. I'll just catch the next one and, mm -hmm. You won't really miss anything in the story, but as you continue watching, in later seasons, they reference back to even like little points in the episodes of the previous seasons. And so, like, um, spoiler alert, just so those who haven't seen season nine, uh, the last, the final, in the final, um, Jim says the very first line that he says in season one, he says the very first line that he says in season one towards the end of the final, which, I mean, I've 
watched and rewatched season one through seven probably like ten times at least. No sure, joke. Sure. Like no joke. Sure. Whenever I'm bored, I just put on an office episode. Mm -hmm. And so I noticed that like instantly. And so for those who are like, oh, you know, I'll just catch the final and see what it's all about. But you wouldn't have known everything that's connected in oh man. Well, there's another thing too that they added, um, which I get really excited about. There's a, an episode where, um, I can't remember the exact season, but they, they all give each other gifts and, and Jim gives Pam this blue teapot. Yeah. You remember? Yeah, yeah, I remember. And so, and in that episode, he was going to give her a note, but um, he didn't. He didn't in that episode, and it, it was a note expressing his feeling towards her. And I believe that they were not dating yet, um, that they were not together. Right. So, in the second to last episode in season nine, um, he finally gave her that note. It was, cr oh, it was just, it was such a beautiful scene. Um, if you haven't seen it, I won't spoil too much for you there, but he does finally give her the note. And so, um, just everything that they, that they piece together, you really have to watch every episode and just see how everything comes together and everything that they bring back in the later seasons from the previous seasons and I thought that the finale was just incredible I mean I'm not gonna lie here I, I teared up a little bit because one <laughs> one they they took it it was funny and it was um, it was sad and they had a special moment with every uh, actor and character in the show and um, I just I loved how they did it I know some people might think like, oh, well, maybe they should have done it better and, and whatever, but in my opinion, I, I absolutely loved it. And uh, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm just sad to see it go, but I'm happy. I'm happy it wasn't one of the shows that they had a really great run and then the ending just completely sucked and it, um, and it ruined it for you. They finished at their peak. Yeah. They finished yeah. on top. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. And a lot of people stopped watching it when Michael left um, in season seven, which we actually just got done watching like, I don't know, an hour ago. And uh, and so a lot of people just were like, well, Michael's gone, you know, the show's over. And I, I did feel like that at first, um, but then season eight came out and I, I watched all of it, obviously. And then season nine came out and uh, the very first episode of season nine, if you haven't seen it, they introduced the, the people behind the camera, which when I saw that, my mind was completely blown because I, I wasn't ever keeping up like on the web or, or any of like the updates of what's going to be in season nine. I didn't even know that season nine, when I uh, started watching it, was the final season until I saw the first episode and they showed the camera guys and like the camera guys talked to them and it was crazy. Like I didn't even know what to think. And then, um, I don't know, it got really sad because I realized, oh, this is the final episode. And then uh, you'll notice in season nine, they have a big sort of, um, sort of a fight or there's, there's a really big tension. There's tension between Jim and Pam. Um, and for a while there, I wasn't even sure if they were going to stay together or if they were going to separate. And they introduced this new camera guy. Um, Brian, I believe, and he was kind of getting with Pam a little bit, and so at first I thought, is Pam going to leave Jim for Brian, because Brian's just being there for her, or are they going to stay together? And so I decided that if Jim and Pam broke up, season eight and nine are dead to me, and <laughs> the, the office ended on the episode Goodbye Michael, which is in season seven. Um, but. Then uh, the episode Paper Planes came out, which I believe is episode 21 or 22 in uh, season 9. And at the end of it, of course, well, spoiler alert if you haven't seen it, but um, Jim, uh, he's, he's about ready to go to Philly, I believe, in a taxi. And Pam runs out because he forgot something in the office while he, while he left. And they were already having problems and, and they um, had marriage counseling um, up, up to this point they did. And so Pam is about to walk away as he's getting in the cab, but he just kind of he just kind of pauses, and then he runs to her and he and he hugs her, and then Pam doesn't really know how to react because they've been having this sort of like tension, like I don't know, 
thing about themselves, and uh, and then she hugs him, and I just I just completely lost it. Like I was so happy that they got back together, and I was like, season nine is alive to me now, because I was so freaking mad at at in the middle of season nine, and um, and when I watched uh, the first episode where they started fighting, like when they actually had a fight over the phone, um, I watched it in the morning and it completely ruined the rest of my day. It really did. And uh, I, I, just because I get really invested in the show. Obviously. So, yeah, I do. Obviously. <laughs> this is my favorite shirt. I don't know. Thunder Mifflin. <laughs> I love it. And uh, yeah, but season nine, the finale, absolutely loved. And they, watching the interviews with the cast, um, they really wanted to bring out the realism of the show because it's one of the most realistic type of shows out there and you know you have Parks and Rec 2 and uh, Modern Family Modern Family yeah, yeah. and so uh, they really wanted to bring the element of couples fight you know into the into the show and they did that with Jim and Pam because a lot of people thought that you know Jim and Pam had the best relationship perfect relationship um, which doesn't really exist and once you get that perfect couple together, once yeah. once they were married, it's like, oh well, now what do I have to look forward to? Because yeah. you know, you watched them date, you watched them get engaged, you watched even her get pregnant, and it's like, okay, well now they're getting married. What's the point of watching? So that tension of kind of trying to tear them apart with using Brian or using whoever really keeps you on edge, and that's yeah. what yeah. TV show producers want. That's what that's why they hook you in. It's like. Oh well, everything's perfect. Oh well, now it's not perfect, and now it's like crap. Now yeah. I gotta watch it to you know see yeah. what happens in the end. It legitly did. I I anticipated every episode up till when they finally uh, paper airplanes when they finally got back together, because I just I was angry. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I really was. I was so angry, and um, I know a lot of other people were. But basically, to to sum up this uh, this review of The Office, um, the entire series. I know. I know a lot of people are thinking, "Oh, Michael left. The series is over." Whatever. Series or uh, seasons one through seven, brilliant. Michael Scott, one of my favorite characters. I would say Jim is probably my favorite character. Um, of course, and Dwight, just because you gotta love Dwight. But uh, love and hate him. Yeah. <laughs> you, you. You. Yeah. Love hate relationship with Dwight. But, um, <laughs> No, seasons one through seven are superb. Seasons eight through nine are different, um, but they really bring out all the other characters in a way that really helps to support the show with Michael gone. And uh, I like that about seasons eight and nine. And of course, the finale was just, I mean, I loved it, absolutely loved it. I actually, I got home from watching uh, Star Trek and um, Into Darkness, which uh, I believe you can check that video. Um, we have another review of that. But uh, it was like one o'clock in the morning, and I was I was questioning like whether or not I really wanted to watch the finale now or wait till the morning. And pretty much after five seconds of questioning that, I was like, <laughs> obviously I'm gonna watch it now, obviously. just because I was really tired. So I was like, eh, a little on edge. But no, I'm really glad I watched it when I did and um, definitely worth it. And then I watched the special where they interviewed all the cast uh, later. And uh, one more thing before I end the video, um, a lot of people didn't think that Michael Scott was going to make an appearance, but he does, and... Spoiler! <laughs> yeah, spoiler! <laughs> and, uh, and the thing that, um, that, uh, that, well, not the thing, but the scene that he's in when he, when he does make his appearance is just beautiful. And I want to tell you that if you haven't seen the finale, but I absolutely love how they introduced him. Um, and that's, that's pretty much the last thing I want to say. Yeah, it was just, it was a beautiful ending. The way that they ended the show couldn't match better with how they did the entire show start to finish. It was just beautiful. Highly recommend it. Mm, Enjoy. Definitely. Definitely. And so uh, if you like the video, subscribe. I hope we did justice to all the other <laughs> uh, Office fans out there with this review. And, um, you know, leave a comment below if you have something else that you want to add, and we'll see you guys later. Hello, and welcome to ATZ Reviews, where, where we review... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hold on. I got this. I got this. <laughs>
Take two. Taco Bell?